the end of the political road this uh, this year. Uh, for, it seems, uh, you know, things are... Macron, are Macron they're all very young. Younger is well, on the same I mean, I, that's what uh, I was about to bring Emmanuel Macron, because he is the winner tonight. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel Macron... He was a former banker. He was brought into the presidential palace by uh, François Hollande. He was then uh, economy minister. He resigned several months ago. And he was not part of today's vote, just to be clear. No, he was not. But he is the winner tonight. And I'll explain why. Uh, because, first of all, he decided not to run. He created his own movement, which is a kind of uh, really something that's never been seen before. And people are getting... Uh, you know, uh, their uh, subscriptions in droves. Uh, he's packing holes for, uh, for his meetings. He's at polling quite well. And he decided not to run because he says, I'm not a socialist, I'm not on the left, I'm not on the right. But tonight's results are a boon for him. Why? Because Man Emmanuel Valls could have been really a rival for him because they share many ideas. Manuel Valls is towards the right of the Socialist Party, therefore very close to the center, where Emmanuel Macron is standing firmly. However, with Benoit Hamon, who's much more to the left, this opens a big space in the center for Emmanuel Macron. Obviously, it would be a major upset if he makes it even to the second round. But now there's a possibility. We were told for months, and I've been telling for months, that there was only Basically, the suspense of knowing who would make it to the second round would uh, it be the conservative candidate ahead of Marine Le Pen or Marine Le Pen ahead of the conservative candidate. Now, especially with tonight's result, there's a possibility of a three way race be between Francois Fillon, Marine Le Pen, and Emmanuel Macron. And this is important. Obviously. And is it going to be hard for socialists who are disappointed by Francois Hollande and his mandate to choose between a, a Macron and an Amont? It will be hard, and they will split uh, the votes. If Benoit Hamon is elected, probably there's an element of loyalty and so on. The majority of the socialists uh, would vote for him. However, the number of socialists or socialist sympathizers has been dwindling, and they've lost election after election. But part of it uh, is not going to like Benoit Hamon's program. They will say it's too, too much on the, on the left. Uh, we don't like it, and so we'll vote for Emmanuel Macron. Yes. If you want, if 